Hello guys. I'm here with a movie name called, Drunken Master. In the initial scene, we are acquainted with a combative techniques master and professional killer named Thunderleg. For as long as he can remember, Thunderleg has prepared to be the best warrior on the planet. He is known for his unmistakable method called Fiend's Kick, a quick and destructive kicking style that can overcome even the best rivals. At some point, he gets a letter from a client who believes that him should kill a conspicuous kung fu ace named Wei. He is likewise paid a strong amount of cash for his administrations. Not burning through much time, Thunder goes to Wei and moves him to a battle. Wei offers him twofold how much cash for his life yet Thunder declines. Despite the fact that he is an outlaw, he is a man of high standards with regards to his work. The battle begins and an expert like Wei is demonstrated powerless before Thunder. He shows astounding footwork and losses the rival in no time. In the accompanying scene, we are taken to the best combative techniques preparing focus in the town. It is controlled by an expert named Wong and his pupil teacher Kai. The learners are frightened of Wong yet not a single one of them dread Kai. The most famous one of the multitude of learners is Wong's own child, Freddy. He prods Kai and snickers with the others at his hopelessness. At the point when Kai acknowledges what is happening, he gets down on Freddy for being a ruined rascal furthermore, exploiting his dad's situation. They choose to resolve the contention with a battle. Kai loses on the grounds that despite the fact that he is a teacher, he isn't half essentially as great as Freddy. The man has a characteristic ability in hand-to-hand -hand fighting and is just missing legitimate discipline. Sometime thereafter, Freddy is with his companions on the lookout, intending to trick individuals as they typically do. He utilizes an eel to startle a young lady and take her leap on him. Be that as it may, he is gotten by the young lady's mom. She is likewise an expert in kung fu and is obviously better than any rivals Freddy has confronted. He is shown a thing or two proceeding he enrolls he can't win against her and escapes. Luck is not in Freddy's favor that day because, on the way back home, he sees a guy named Jerry. He is troubling a poor seller by refusing to pay the right amount. Freddy stands against the bully and defeats him in a fight to make him pay the seller. Before leaving, he warns Jerry to stay out of his sight if he values his life. In the evening, he returns home and sees the girl he pranked earlier and her mother are with his father. Freddy tries his best to ignore them but his father calls him closer to introduce him to the guests. It turns out, they are his aunt and cousin, who have come to visit them from a different city. They tell Master Wong about his son's shenanigans, getting Freddy in trouble. Just when he is about to be punished, they are interrupted by a landowner named Lee. He is Jerry's father and is furious at Freddy for beating up his son. Jerry is also brought in front of Master Wong, covered in bandages from all the injuries inflicted upon him. Lee doesn't want an apology but wants Freddy to be punished for his crimes. Wong brings out a stick to hit Freddy but is stopped by his aunt. She asks the victim's friends to punish Freddy in a way they prefer. But they only get 10 hits on him and he cannot fight back in between the hits. One of Jerry's friends confidently comes forward but fails to realize that even if Freddy cannot counterattack, he can defend himself. His first few hits go to waste because Freddy is able to deflect each one of them. Eventually, the 10 attacks are over and Freddy is still standing upright with no major injuries. When the opponent tries going for an extra attack, Freddy sends him flying with a single hit. Lee and his goons have to pick Jerry and return home in embarrassment. But Master Wong's anger hasn't died down yet. Starting the next day, he makes Freddy go through a series of brutal punishments. He is made to squat with bowls on his head and shoulders for hours every day. Still, Freddy and his friends find several ways to cheat their way out of the punishment. Master Wong finds out about this and is fed up with his son's lack of discipline. Deciding to take a major step, he calls his brother, a legendary kung fu master named Sam. He is best known for the drunken style of kung fu and is unbeatable when drunk. Wong believes that under his care, even someone like Freddy will start taking life seriously. Until he arrives, Freddy is kept in the outhouse with a heavy pot hung on his neck as punishment. His friend rescues him and reveals that Master Sam is not a usual person. He tortures his students so much that they are unrecognizable by the end of the training. Once he arrives, Freddy might as well wish farewell to his freedom and peace. Upon hearing all the gruesome things Sam has done, Freddy no longer wants to meet him. He runs away and ends up at a restaurant by the end of the day. Since he is penniless, he tricks a man into treating him to a meal but the man turns out to be the restaurant's owner. His goons start a fight with Freddy for trying to cheat them. In the same restaurant, Master Sam is enjoying a meal. He recognizes Freddy and helps him fight the goons. Freddy is thankful to the stranger for his help. As they talk, he starts insulting Master Sam, failing to recognize that he is the same man. After berating him all he wants, Freddy stops and asks the stranger his name. 
Upon finding out he is the master, Freddy's face changes color. He tries to make a run for it. When that doesn't work, he foolishly attempts to fight Sam and is taught a lesson. Starting the next day, his training begins and his first task is to repeatedly transfer water from one massive pot to another. He looks for the right moment and pretends to have fallen into one of the pots. When Sam comes to his aid, he is tricked and trapped inside. Freddy then runs away and comes to rest at an abandoned building. The place turns out to be the hideout of the dangerous assassin, Thunderleg. He orders Freddy to go away but unaware of the killer's identity, Freddy refuses. As a result, Thunderleg proceeds to beat and humiliate him. He is about to kill him but stops because killing a mere weakling like Freddy would harm his reputation. Freddy's life is saved but he hasn't been more embarrassed in his life. The anger turns into a will to avenge Thunder and for that, he has to train. In the following scene, he goes back to Sam, apologizing and begging him for his help. Sam takes him back, giving him the last chance to prove himself. The first step in the training is to multiply his arm strength. This is done by Sam tying sticks to his hands and using him like a puppet. After training the entire day, Freddy has a hard time using chopsticks at dinner. He doubts if he can ever be as strong as Thunder but as days pass, he feels his arm gaining strength. The first quarter of the training ends when he can break walnuts with his bare fingers. Then, one day, the master and student go to a local betting zone to gamble. Sam is an experienced gambler with very sharp eyes. He wins every single round and makes a lot of money, much to the annoyance of his opponents. They are interrupted by a bald man who thinks he can defeat Sam. They put all their money on the last round but the man cheats to win. Upon being proven a fraud, he panics and starts blaming Sam. Freddy challenges him to a fight thinking that it would be an easy win. But the bald man reveals he has been trained in skull-styled kung fu and has a powerful head. He overpowers Freddy in the first half of the fight but Freddy gets his hands on a hammer and defeats the guy in the end. A while later, Master Sam runs out of his favorite alcohol and asks Freddy to get him some from a restaurant. However, he eats a large meal with the money and dilutes the alcohol with water, assuming that Sam won't know the difference. Somewhere else, the bald-headed guy brings the Bamboo Master to beat up Sam for what he did earlier. The Bamboo Master has his stick but Sam lacks his biggest source of power which is alcohol. Freddy arrives at the right time but Sam instantly recognizes that the alcohol is diluted. As a result, both of them cannot fight the Bamboo Master so they decide to flee. At night, Freddy blames Sam for not teaching him properly because he couldn't defeat the Bamboo Master. Sam reveals that till now, he had only been learning the basics of the drunken kung fu technique. Now that he has mastered the basics, he will have to learn the most important parts. The duo then drinks until they are drunk out of their minds. When an average person can hardly walk with this much alcohol in their system, Sam can perform the techniques of all seven masters of kung fu. Freddy learns about the masters and their strengths and weaknesses. After training for hours and hours, he finally begins to get a hang of the complicated techniques of kung fu. He is also much more disciplined than he was before and takes the training more seriously. One day, the landowner Lee comes to Master Wong, asking him to sell his land. Wong knows that Lee wants to misuse the land by using it as a coal mine. Lee even offers him 20% of the profit but Wong kicks him out. In the following scene, Thunder Leg receives a letter from a client. The sender is Lee who wants him to murder Wong. Thunder takes on the task and gets ready to go to the city. Somewhere else, Freddy is walking home with alcohol when he comes across the Bamboo Master. He remembers how he and Sam were humiliated by the man and decides to take revenge. He provokes the man, urging him to make the first attack. The fight seems to be neutral until Freddy drinks alcohol. When he is drunk, no one can fight against him, not even the popular Bamboo Master. He defeats the man almost hilariously before stealing two large pots of his wine. However, on reaching home, he is shocked to see Sam missing. He finds a letter where the master has thanked him for believing in his teachings. He says Freddy has learned everything there is to drunken kung fu, hence he has completed his task and is leaving. Back in the training center, a man runs to Wong in panic and reveals that Lee and his people are taking over the land by force. An enraged Wong goes to teach them a lesson but finds no one. It is revealed that the notice was a trick played by Thunder Leg to get Wong alone. Thunder is especially excited about the battle because he is always looking for a stronger opponent. He thinks Wong is a perfect match for him and his death will elevate Thunder's reputation. The fight starts and the two match in strength and technique for some time. But when Thunder decides to use the devil's kick, even the mighty Wong is defeated. He is thrown to the ground and is seconds away from being killed when one of his disciples brings Freddy. His blood boils on seeing his father injured. He gets ready to fight the opponent in Wong's place. 
Thunder Leg remembers him from the time he was humiliated. To the assassin, it is a joke because he thinks Freddy is the same person who ran away with his tail between his legs the last time. Just then, So arrives at the battlefield, much to Freddy's delight. Thunder Leg freezes in shock, knowing what the drunken master is capable of. It turns out he is the only person the deadly assassin is scared of. But So assures him that he will not interfere in the fight. He wants it to be between his student and Thunder. The fight starts and Freddy dodges all of Thunder's attacks. The opponent gets frustrated and makes a mistake, giving Freddy an upper hand. In the end, he uses his arm strength to snap Thunder's neck and defeats him. Lastly, Freddy stands as the victor and his father is finally proud of him. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.